So in this video, we're going to show you how you can see different um, actions of the injector under different conditions in a standard flow test versus a uh, dynamic test. In this scenario here, this is just wide open flow, which is what the standard testing is. So if you're sending the injectors in and we're doing testing on them, it's just wide open flow. As you can see, these injectors here are all dead even. So we're gonna take the same set of injectors and this test here is a modified down to be a quicker version of what a dynamic testing is. So you can kind of see the differences and the results that you would get in a dynamic test. This is basically doing a different millisecond durations and pressure uh, ranges here, all in one quick test for video purposes. As you can see, this injector here didn't even open up until later on. So higher millisecond duration is where that injector becomes stable. And as you can see, it's flowing higher than the rest of them. But when you're seeing it just in a standard wide open flow, you don't see that issue that that injector has here. This is a little bit off, but you definitely have that one injector that could still be a problem that you might not see in a standard flow test.